This is a crazy story. Have you heard of this fashion, high, high-end high fashion? It's called, uh, brand, it's called Balenciaga. I'm, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, they did this. They had an ad campaign that over-sexualized kids, that kids holding a bear, the bear is dressed up like an S&M person, and that's not... First of all, I wish Kurt was here because he does have that same outfit. But uh, <laughs> that bear looks like a huge Judas Priest fan. Am I right? <laughs> there's more. Here, there's actually Kurt's headshot. But uh, anyway, there's more. And he, and um, but then they got in trouble. Balenci- Balenciaga receives backlash over bondage clothing ads for kids. I think it's just lash they're getting. Um, <laughs> but. It doesn't help that those kids are so. Remember when we those kids are making the face. When I was a kid, if you wanted to see a missing kid, you had to buy a quart of milk because that's where the kids were. They had, they had them all on the. That's what we did before Amber Alerts, <laughs> and uh, you had to buy a quart of milk to see who was missing. And our teddy bears weren't wearing them in S and M shit. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, and I bet, I bet, the, what was that guy, that notorious Scrubs producer? Eric Weinberg must have been so relieved that headline wasn't about him. Huh? <laughs> um, hey, by the way, fun fact about this Balenciaga that are under attack for a twisted ad campaign sexualizing kids. Here's a fun fact about them. Cristobal Balenciaga, the Spanish founder of Balenciaga, and this is from Wikipedia. Historians believe that Balenciaga's continued activity during the Nazi occupation of Paris was made possible by Balenciaga's connections with Spanish dictator General Francisco Franco, who was Adolf Hitler's close ally. The relation to Franco was so close, in fact, that Balenciaga designed clothing for the Franco family. So maybe this isn't a pedo thing. Maybe it's just a Nazi thing. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> uh, here's, here's, oh, Lala Kent calls out Balenciaga over horrifying child ad campaign. I don't know who Lala Kent is, but she must be popular. Page six, put her on the front. Look at her. Do you know who she is? Never heard of her? Mm-mm. She looks like she's on a reality show. That's yeah. what she looks like. She looks like the wives of somebody. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, and so here is here's a close up of the stuff. So now I think this confuses kids, right? Should they put straps and bondage gear on a compa- on companion animals or to each other? Is pain and restraint fun? Is Balenciaga going to teach them how to use safe words? Oh. <laughs> Did you know that children who are sexually abused are five times more likely to abuse animals? Did you know that 43% of school shooters have a history of abusing animals? Margaret Mead once said that uh, one of the most dangerous things that can happen to a child is to kill or torture an animal and get away with it. Uh, so there's another little piece of information. People don't understand the symbolism behind teddy bears, certain abuse victims, and disassociation. I remember being told in Leo class years ago that pedophiles used the dancing bear stickers on their cars to ID one another. So I don't, I'm not, I don't understand the symbolism behind teddy bears, certain abuse victims, and disassociation. I don't, I don't. Does anybody no. else? No, but maybe it's this. I don't know, but that seemed intentional. That Balenciaga did that with bears. Uh, is their primary ad- tactic in advertising to make the viewer feel uncomfortable, which leads to the comfort of consumerism? I mean, how does it work? Um, so, I don't know what... So, uh, Balenciaga, they apologized for a kinky ad featuring children in harness-wearing teddy bears. What were they thinking? place maybe that maybe they should just say it's just a fascist thing it's not about sex <laughs> uh they immediately took down all their social media they left twitter oh, it says following the elon musk takeover oh, oh yeah <clears throat> oh yeah is that what is that why because you're so upset at elon musk oh, they now now they're also off their uh 
That's Instagram, right? Look at that. Uh, House of Balenciaga, who was tight with fascists and designs bondage beers for small children, draws the line at Elon letting libs of TikTok back on Twitter. Wasn't that <laughs> nice? That's what that is. And by the way, they had 14.3 million followers. How many fashionable child predators are there out there? <laughs> I always thought they looked greasy when they drove by in their dirty vans, but apparently. Um, did you know? By, so here's an, a separate creepy thing about this. So the brand Balenciaga, they inserted in one of their photo shoots, not this, not this photo shoot with the kids dressed up with sexy bondage gear. But in another photo shoot, they inserted this piece of paper here, right? If you look. And it was, it's obviously intentionally put in there. And the document is about virtual porn. What? Yes. So here's another photo shoot. Here it is. And if you zoom in, you can see it says, it's uh, uh, Ashcroft First Free Speech Coalition. And what is that? There it is. The act specifically prescribed computer-generated or altered depictions of minors engaging in explicit sexual conduct called virtual child pornography and images of explicit sexual conduct by adults who resemble minors. The court ruled that the law's expanded definition of child pornography as including any image that appears to be of minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct or that is presented in such a manner that uh -huh. conveys the impression that it is a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct would criminalize images that are not obscene and images that were not produced with any real children. So even if you intend, so that's what this was. And someone put that in one of their photo shoots. Now, who did that? Is that Balenciaga effing with everybody? Or is that someone inside Balenciaga being a whistleblower trying to, you know, who is that? How did that how did that happen? Did they put it in so they put it in the ad to let us know that this is they've doing this on purpose? That is bold advertising. I mean, why did they leave it in there? So here's what they said. They said we sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. Our plush bear bags should not have been featured with children in this campaign. We have immediately removed the campaign from all platforms. Oh, really? Yeah, the pictures are just, just for our own private use. <laughs> <laughs> then two hours later, they came back with this. We apologize for displaying unsettling documents in our campaign. Oh, They're talking about that document right. I just showed you. We take this matter very seriously and are taking legal action against the parties responsible for creating the set and including unapproved items for our spring 23 campaign photo shoot. We strongly condemn abuse of children in any form. We stand for child safety and well-being. Well, you should have thought about that before you did a porno shoot with kids, huh? <laughs> that, that sounds just like, I don't know, maybe people would say those are empty words. Right? Holy F. Most people are going to ignore the Balenciaga ad just to avoid speaking out against it. In a few weeks, most people won't even remember, and it'll be business as usual for them. And in a few years, Balenciaga will try again, and in a new way. Remember, uh, uh, was it an American Apparel that kept doing that? Calvin Klein was the one that started that off with, um, who's that famous actress? Oh. Uh, Brooke Shields. She was like 15 years old, and they had her doing a really provocative jeans ad. I think she had her top off, maybe. It was crazy. She was 15. And it was crazy. And they, they, they did a lot of that stuff. But they got, they got, they actually did use teen models in sexual ways. Kelvin Klein. I can't show them or they'll demonetize this thing, this video. Uh, C.J. Pearson says Balenciaga severed their ties with Kanye West due to a tweet. Oh. Yet they expect us to just accept their apology after they get caught up sexualizing children. They're not apologizing because they're sorry. They're apologizing because they got caught. That is true. 
So Balenciaga drops Kanye West, Mr. Sunday Service, and then proceeds to release its child pornography campaign? How far are we going to let this shit go? Honestly, these people are psychotic, and I'm starting to think a lot of y'all like watching. Who's voting for these weirdos? Wow, huh? According to the UN, did you know that 28.7 million women and girls worldwide are forced into sex, marriage, or labor each year? So I hope Kanye learned his lesson. It's not what not what you do, it's what you say and about who. <laughs> Next time, tweet death con to anti-pornography feminists and Balenciaga will raise your paycheck. How about that? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of hypocritical, right? That's what they're that's the point there. Not that what Kanye said is okay, I don't think, but that that's hypocritical. Uh, funny how Balenciaga made reference to child porn while using a child model holding a teddy with a bondage outfit on, and they won't be canceled, but Kanye had his bank account frozen and lost multiple deals, money, and Kyrie had to do five or six actions to prove he was sorry. Well, that's true. Well said. Uh, oh, look, uh, Jackson Hinkle tweeted out. I guess this is Jank Uger's nephew, Hassan, that guy who uh, used to do that bro tip, teach you how to be a good predator with women, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hassan Piker just posted a video of himself proudly wearing Balenciaga sunglasses days after their satanic child porn ad campaign. Did I mention he's a Freemason? And there it is. So that's. I guess that's pretty cool. That's cool, right? As he does that. Uh, freedom of speech for my dick. Uh, that's their new ad now. So it's now it's all just regular ad. Uh, they they do have duct tape uh stacked stack right his feet. I don't know what that's about. There's duct tape there. Looks like a chain over There's here. There's duct tape here. Ears. The weird chain over here. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know how I feel about any of it, but, I mean, I feel badly about most of it. What are kids doing in ad campaigns anyway? I was always feel weird when I would go on commercial auditions and there'd be a kid audition or a kid in on the audition. I don't know why that, I mean, maybe the kid wants to do it, but that's real grown-up shit. And, you know, I mean, that's work. That's working. That's an adult environment. But you got to have kid actors. You always have child. There's always child actors. So what are you going to do? I don't know if I, I would let my kid act like in school plays and stuff. But I don't know about professionally. Because uh, I don't, you don't see any kids who were child actors and it went well for them. Like they were successful and they, and they didn't self-destruct as a grown-up, right? Pretty much. Shirley Temple, she did okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, who's that guy from Happy Days? Ron Howard. Ron Howard. I think those are the only two examples of good of it turning out good. <laughs> uh, so there you go, Balenciaga, huh? We'll see you November 26th. That's the Saturday after Thanksgiving in Burbank. And then all December, we're going to be in Los Angeles doing Friday night shows. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member. While you're there, you get all of our videos unedited. jimmydoor.com, not Jimmy Door Comedy. <laughs>